But behind the glamour of the Grammy Awards is one man who makes these coveted awards by hand. Our Jeff Probst pulled into Colorado to meet the Grammy maker. The place is picture postcard perfect with more horses than people. Ridgeway, Colorado in the heart of the Rockies. The least likely spot you'd expect to find the guy who makes the Grammy Awards. That's right, John Billings makes the Grammys by hand. He starts casting the molds in September and he works right up until showtime. I get a little help now and then, a few people in town help. I've had my sons in and out, uh, but it's my responsibility each year now to put them together and this, is, this will be my 20th year. He's a mold maker by trade. The job of molding the Grammys was handed down to him by the original Grammy maker, Bob Graves. I had known uh, Bob since I was five years old. I used to sit on a stool in his workshop and watch him work and never thought that someday I would take over. He, uh, on his deathbed, uh, said, don't ever let anybody else do those. You keep them. And he's kept at it ever since. They seem to take on their own little character, uh, you know, and that they are handmade so that each one's a little bit different. This is a vintage Grammy, and this is one of the person that is extremely fragile. It had a little crank that was uh, soldered onto the side, which people always tried to crank them sure, up and broke not? the crank. So we've, we're kind of bringing it into the year 2000 now, and, and so we've, now we've got what I think is a beautiful award. People probably assume that you make 250 of these and you charge an outrageous price. You've seen I drive a pickup truck and I live in a little log cabin and uh, I live in paradise and I'm happy what I'm doing and uh, you know money cannot buy that kind of pride. You sort of a celebrity here in Ridgeway since you are Mr. Grammy? No, not really. Um, people get awards confused, you know, they like my mother, you know, she say, how are the Emmys coming, dear? <laughs> you know. Moms are proud no matter what, doesn't matter. All right, joining us now is Jeff Probst and Grammy maker John Billings. Nice to see you guys making your way to New York. Beautiful country you're in there, Jeff. It is gorgeous. It's not where we are supposed to be because where John lives in Ridgeway is Avalanche. You and I are going to talk uh, on the way to the bus. No, nah, we can make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Giselle. <laughs> hey, listen, Jeff, I want you to call me after the show. Please yeah. congratulate John. Tell him he does a great job, and we'll look forward to seeing those little statues in the winner's hands we'll come the end keep, of February. Keep pushing. You need more we help? got you, Giselle. All yeah, right. keep pushing. I'm not <laughs> pulling the thing by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see Jeff tomorrow in Dallas with Chuck Norris of Walker, Texas Ranger. And again, you know you'll see him on Grammy night in New York City.